Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious Buddha bowl dragon sauce. And what you're going to need is some good tamari. I've got some organic tamari here. Some nutritional yeast, which gives you lots of B12 vitamins, B vitamins. Uh, some good olive oil. You want some good maple syrup. Two to three garlic cloves. A, a tiny pinch of nutmeg and uh, nutmeg and turmeric powder, and a little bit of water. So it's very easy to make, and I'm going to show you what you need. Okay, so I'm going to make you a small batch today, but you can double the recipe. It's very easy to make. Okay, you're going to need a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. I usually make a lot more of this, but I have some in the fridge, so I'm just going to show you with a small amount. So we need a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. You're going to need three tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to put two tablespoons of tamari. You want some filtered water. I'm going to put two tablespoons of that. We're going to start off with two garlic. And then if we need some more, we'll just add that. We're going to put our nutmeg and our turmeric. It's a tiny pinch. And last but not least, we need some maple syrup. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of that. Now this goes great on any type of bowls you make. Or you can just use it to dip some vegetables. It's really, really, really good. So I'm going to use my trusty Nutribullet. And we're going to mix this all up. Really, really good. Maybe just a little more garlic. And it's that easy. It's really, really simple and it goes great on any dragon bowls. I'll show you how to make one that I make for my daughter later. Hopefully I can get this open. My hands are wet. It's that easy, and um, I'm going to show you how to make a nice dragon bowl where you pour this onto. So here we are. We're going to start making our, I've got the, my brown rice cooking, and I'm going to get some of my veggies ready. And we need a nice big bowl. This is a nice deep bowl where we're going to put all our veggies and our rice in. So we're going to put that there. So I'm going to, I have some sprouts that I'm going to put on top. I've got some red cabbage. I'm going to shred some beets. I'm going to shred some carrots. And we're going to cut up some romaine. And then we're going to put some tempeh on top. I'm not sure if you could get this type of uh, tempeh. It's not that expensive. It's about $5. And it's called the Noble Bean. And it is so good. It's one of the best tempehs that I've ever tasted. So we're going to brown some of this up and we're going to put it on top of the bowl. So we're going to shred some carrots. And this is such an easy but such a delicious recipe. This 
is not a completely raw dish, but you could actually make this into a raw dish. Just leave out your rice. Or you could even sprout your rice if you want to. But since this is for my daughter and she wanted some brown rice, I'm making it with the brown rice. Let me get my fingers. Yeah, that looks about good. So I used about two medium carrots that I shredded. And I'm going to shred half a beet. This was a pretty nice size beet. And beets, just by looking at the color, you know what beets are good for. Not only is it great for your blood, but it's also blood purifier. It helps detox you from all those nasty chemicals and that we have to, that's in our lives every day. Toxins, get rid of toxins when we eat beets. So that's half a beet, that's shredded. And we're going to put this on this side. And this bowl is going to be for one person. Maybe I should just cut this up thinly rather than shredding it. I'm just going to cut this as thin as I can get it. I mean, you can use your food processor if you have the adapter. It'll go a lot faster. But since I'm too lazy to move my camera, I'm going to shred it by hand. And if you're going to do it by hand, try and do it as thin as possible. And you want this to be almost as paper thin as you can get it. So I'm going to continue this and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. Um, my rice is in here. It's my brown rice. So now I'm going to start topping some salad. I mean, you could put as much as you want of this. We're going to put a nice handful of carrots. We're going to put a nice handful of purple cabbage. We got our beets. Well, we're going to put maybe more salad. We have our beets. Add the rest of the salad and then we're going to put our beautiful sprouts in the middle and then we have our tofu that I, not our tofu sorry our tempeh that I marinated in tamari sauce and then I just made a small orange glaze for them How beautiful is that? And how good is that for you? Enjoy, guys.